finally bit the bullet. The hard shell rooftop tent. Something I've really wanted for a while now. The quick setup and being able to leave your bedding inside were the two main factors for me. So I decided to go with the iCamper SkyCamp 2X and I can confidently say I absolutely love this tent. Gonna take you guys on a little walk around on the tent, review or initial impressions, as well as whether or not it's worth the high price tag because it is one of the most expensive tents on the market. Just a little side note, I was not sponsored the tent, I paid for it myself. How's it guys? So we out here on the way to Botswana. As quick and simple as that, two minutes and the eye camp is up. Spring rods and everything, no effort whatsoever. I want to take you through the disadvantages and the advantages. So let's get uh, the disadvantages out of the way because there aren't many of them. But it is obviously a hard shell rooftop tent so that means it takes up the entire roof rack of the 200 series. Which means I don't have space for jerry cans, wood, that sort of stuff. So on the longer trips, I probably wouldn't be able to take it, that I have to carry extra fuel. Although I do see now they offer a iCamper SkyCamp Mini option, which allows you to put jerry cans and wood on. So that's also a nice, uh, a nice little unit that, probably something that I would look at in the future. Also hard shell. It does weigh quite a bit, not too bad for its size actually. So with four people, it was quite easy to put it on top of the roof rack and i am using the um, front runner quick release tent mount kit so it just slides in which is awesome highly recommend that product and yeah the car doesn't drive uh, too badly with it on top i don't notice much difference compared to my normal setup with a soft shell uh, or soft cover rooftop tent and the jerry cans so yeah it uh, the car handles well with it on top it is very aerodynamic. My fuel consumption is down around a liter per hundred, maybe two liters per hundred kilometers less with this setup on the roof than my previous setup. So in wind, the car also doesn't get battered around as much because of the slimline profile, which is awesome. Great part of the, the tent. It obviously is the quick pop-up option. So you undo the latches and you pop the tent up. You then put a brace across the main part of the tent you then put the spring rods in for the windows so once you've done that it's set up done there's nothing to fold out you just hook the ladder in simple and easy there's no covers that you faff around with one of the biggest advantages and the key selling point for me on this specific tent you're allowed to leave your bedding inside while you travel and that saves time and space in the vehicle i've always had to take my linen and everything out pillows etc now i just leave it in there including jackets so it saves me a lot of space so another really nice thing is the fact that the tent is extremely well insulated and you might think that the the hard shell might blow in the wind because it might feel a bit flimsy even though it's not it definitely doesn't it is very very solid the ladder you might look at the ladder and think not the greatest quality but it just works been using a similar ladder just to get onto the roof rack for a number of years this latches into place really nicely so it's not rickety or anything like that so yeah the ladder is it works that's it it's uh, one of those extendable ladders so it packs away obviously small into the tent comes with a little cover on the bottom of the ladder so that if it's dirty from the ground it doesn't make your tent dirty which is a cool little uh, addition interior of the tent is where this really shines as you can see you've got a map of the world behind me so that's what you sleep under there's also a star gazing little hatch above so you can actually watch the stars uh, just before you falling asleep there in the Kalahari the 
that would be awesome. And the space up here comfortably sleeps two people. Like I said, enough space to keep your bedding in here. The mattress is very, very comfortable. Slept a couple nights on it, no problems. There's also a lot of hooks inside the tent to hang things like the little nightcore lanterns that I use up there. So you're able to hang that up in various places within the tent. Some other great features are the little pockets that they leave on the sides for you next to the window, next to the openings. Uh, you can put your car keys, headlamps, that sort of stuff in there. There's one that side and that side, so plenty of space. I'm sure for a lot of people the concern is what happens if the wind picks up in the middle of the night and this decides to close. They have stopped that happening by including these little clamps that go on the gas struts to ensure that this cannot close. So it is impossible. I haven't used it in windy conditions yet, but this is definitely going to stop that closing. So one of my concerns as well was because the tent opens that way and not that way like the traditional ones like alucab and quick pitch was whether the view out of the tent would be restrictive you know if there are lions walking around your campsite are you going to be able to see them around the tent and I, my concerns actually don't matter at this point because the view is excellent the big main door opening superb easy to get in and out you're not straining and the two side openings you can pretty much see around the whole vehicle so yeah that's a concern that's uh, not worth worrying about I've also slept in the tent in extremely cold weather everything was covered in ice held up really well uh, like I said wind I don't know yet because I haven't slept in any hectic winds and I haven't slept in the heat so I don't know how good it is in the heat but I would imagine it's pretty good because you can get nice ventilation coming through from both sides and from the main door. Obviously you can um, open it up completely or have the plastic in the way or the plastic and the mesh. So what's nice is at night you cover up the plastic or if it's hot you uh, just use the mesh to get that nice breeze, cut the breeze coming through and the mosquitoes can't get in. So that is tops but every tent's sort of got that. I know they also offer an annex room that just zips onto here. It looks really quick and simple. I'll be getting that. Then you've got a massive room right next to the vehicle if you parked off for a good couple of days. That's a great uh, little addition, I rate. Things I don't like about the interior, can't really find any actually. Yeah, there's nothing I really, <laughs> I don't really like about the interior. Mattress is definitely one of the better ones on the market. Yeah, chuffed with the product. Another great aspect of this tent are the zips. The quality is superb. Don't feel like they're going to have strip or anything like that. So great uh, quality zips and that's a very good indication on the qualities used in of the materials in the rooftop tent construction. If they've skimped on the zips, chances are they've skimped on something else. The way the tent closes shut is there are two latches and you get a little key. Uh, you can only remove that key when the latch is uh, closed completely which is awesome it's a good safety mechanism and yeah i think it's really good obviously you have a key so look after it don't lose it they do provide you with a spare but it clamps shut really nicely uh, it will not leak dust that's a nice way of making sure the tent is sealed properly I'm really happy that I invested in the hard shell tent. It just makes everything a lot quicker, simpler, works. And in terms of car camping, it's completely changed the game for the shorter trips where I don't need to carry extra fuel. And is it worth the price so far? I would say it's definitely worth the price. Remember that all the materials used in the tent are higher quality materials, which in the long run, the tent will last. Thanks for watching, I've left the link for the iCamper website in the description below. And until the next video, cheers.